Hey guys, this is Jasmine with Black Flower Co. Pro and Aesthetics Factory. I'm here introducing myself to a lot of you guys, to a lot of you guys for the first time as Jasmine Please. Um, I've been requested to do YouTube videos for such a long time on this and finally I'm here. So for those that don't know me, stay tuned. Let's get cozy for a little bit and I promise you'll want to stay tuned in. So first and foremost, hey, hey everybody, I'm Jasmine, also known as Jasmine Weber and Blakely on Facebook. Um, I've been a formulator for quite some time now, never really considered myself one um, professionally for a while, but basically I'll give you a short rundown so you know me and a little bit of why I'm here. Basically, I'm, I've been very successful with my two businesses, one of them, or both the two of them are still growing. Um, I was formerly known as Just Black Flower Co. and I started selling my products to everybody else. What started small grew into something big and now has branched out into me actually helping other people to formulate um, to formulate their own products and to basically help build their business in any way I know how. I keep no secrets. I'm here to tell it all about how I did it and show you guys everything that I do. So in short, that's what I wanted to let you guys know. Today, I'm actually going to start off with a nice video for you guys talking about the phases that you um, go through when you're whipping butters. That's my specialty. And so I'm gonna give you a breakdown of what they look like and what to expect. This is what I call phase one, when you have all the butters completely melted down into a clear oil where you could see straight through and through. Phase two was like a almost jelly kind of waxy cloudy texture. It's still warm, but this is the phase where you wanna start whipping. Once you start whipping, it begins to get a little bit creamy, kind of like a lotion would, but it's still very runny and needs to rest for a bit of time. This is phase four, where it starts to thicken a bit and hold its shape. It's not as runny and needs to rest a little bit more before it's time to re-whip and get it thicker. In phase five, this happens after you've let it rest for a little bit, you come back and whip and it's a lot harder. At this point, you'll wanna quickly add in your oils. Phase six will make you feel like you messed up because it will get extremely runny. I promise that's not the case. Whip and set aside and just let it sit. In phase seven here, it's definitely still thick, but it's um, much more creamy this time. Continue to add in your oils and whip. And after all of that whipping and love, you get phase eight where you have a marshmallow fluff texture like butter that melts smoothly into the skin. So basically that shows you a little bit of how much of a process it can be when you're making butters. It's not just as simple as you see where you just get butter, add oil, whip it, and then boom, in about 20 minutes you cut a beautiful body product. That's not how it works. It's very time consuming. It takes love, it takes a lot of dedication, and it takes a lot of study to get to know these ingredients, how they work and how they um, react in certain products. So I'm here to tell off for you guys. If you want me to do a video on anything in specific, just leave a comment and request it. I'd be happy to do that for you guys. And stay tuned because I have a lot more coming. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.